Welcome back to our Midday Makeover. Today I'm joined here with Caroline Poppendeck from the Chemung County Library District. Thanks so much for coming in. And as once a month that we do our monthly book club. So mm -hmm. I'll just kind of let you jump right in and tell us, you know, what's new on the shelves. Okay. For October, these all have a taste of darkness. So the first one is called The Last Days of Night by Graham Moore. Um, Paul, it's a historical uh, novel too, by the way. Uh, um, Paul is a young, untested lawyer fresh out of law school. Takes a, a case that seems impossible to win. Paul's client, George Westinghouse, has been sued by Thomas Edison over a billion dollar question. Who invented the light bulb and who holds the right to power the country? Right. And inve um, Paul investigates the, and takes greater and greater risks. He finds everyone in his path is playing their own game. So he's got quite a, quite a lot of mystery to solve there. The next one is Dark Matter by Blake Couch. Blake Crouch. And it's a masked abduct abductor knocks Jason unconscious. He wakes to find himself strapped to a gurney surrounded by strangers in hazmat suits. In this world, he's woken up to his wife is not his wife. His son was never born. And Jason is not an ordinary college physics professor, but now a celebrated genius who has achieved something remarkable, something impossible. Sounds very mysterious. Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> and the third is called The House at the Edge of Night, which is a bit of a takeaway from the other two. It's a sweeping saga about four generations of a family who live and love on an enchanting Mediterranean island off the coast of Italy. An enthralling, character-rich novel that is epic in scope, but intimate in feeling. All right, like you kind of mentioned, all very kind of darker All reads kind of dark reads, month, yes. Okay. It fits in with the Halloween and October. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. All right, well, thank you so much, Caroline. And as always, we'll put all of these books, and they are they can all be found at, right at the Steele Memorial yes, Library. Yes, they can, yes. Great, and so we'll put their descriptions right on our website after the show at wenycom